Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be reviewing the Estee Lauder Perfect Loose Powder. Pretty sure you guys get the idea right now. Towels on my head, I wash my hair, I'm pressed for time, and so forth. So I ran out of my Stellar Cosmic Face Powder in the color Glow 2. Still have it in haze, but because we are trying this out right now, I decided not to use that today and use this for all over my face. Now they do have other colors as well, but I got it in translucent. So it's a universal color. Um, normally I like to use haze to bake under my eyes and use glow 2 for the rest of my face. But we'll see how this works. I believe this retails for like about $55 or so. I'll confirm that later. So what this is supposed to do, it's a micro uh, loose powder that's supposed to absorb the shine. And looking at the box, it's lighter than air, softer than silk, incredibly fine. This micro sheer pow powder controls shine and helps uh, hide imperfections and pores. Uh, fuses makeup into smooth flawless perfection and it's oil free. You do get 0.35 ounces or 10 grams. Now I do have a, a damp beauty blender here to bake under my eyes because I did my concealer, my foundation and all that. So when you do open it, you do get the seal here. I don't know if you guys can see that because of my light. You do get the seal so we're just going to peel that off. So you can uh, twirl this around to seal the sifter if you like. We're just gonna close this back up and give it a little shake. Ooh. I don't know if you guys saw that or if the camera picked that up or not, but there's a lot of powder. I do have this love-hate relationship with like finely milled powders. Like it does a great job, but then it flies around everywhere. So anyways, with my damp beauty blender, <laughs> Just gonna go in and I'm gonna uh, bake under my eyes. So just place it under my eyes right now. I've noticed there is no, there's no fragrance or anything, but because it's so finely milled, um, I can still see powder kind of flying around everywhere still, even with a damp beauty blender. So really press that in there. So now I got every the baking going on. Now just I'm gonna pick up some of the powder with a domed brush. Just swivel around the cap. And I'm going to apply this for the rest of my face and set my foundation. This is usually a messy process. Now, I usually use Glow 2 for the rest of my face because it usually helps even out um, the color because there is a bit, a bit of a golden tone to it. So because it's so finely milled, I didn't feel any chunks. Um, right now, it feels pretty nice. It feels very lightweight. Um, I will brush the rest of this off. I'm gonna continue to uh, do the rest of my face and I will do check-ins throughout the day. So I'll see you guys soon. So it's about two o'clock right now and I feel cakey and oily. Even though this is a lightweight powder, I still feel cakey and oily. Now, just looking at myself at the viewfinder right now, it doesn't look like it's cakey or oily or maybe a little oily. But if you were face to face with me, you can see my pores peeking through the foundation. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier foundation and if you saw uh, my review on that, I love that foundation. I usually use that with my Stellar Cosmic uh, Face Powder. Those two together, I have a flawless canvas. Like my pores are blurred. Nothing will show, basically. My pores will like remain uh, filled in, blurred, and I'll have like a nice healthy glow to me. This, however, my pores are peeking through. I don't like that. But once again, you probably can't see it on camera and I'm pretty sure someone who's far away won't be able to see it as well. But I'm pretty sure you can see like my pores and everything the moment you're like right up to my face. So I don't really like that. It was the same thing with like my Laura Mercier a setting powder as well. Even though I love her foundation, I hate the powder. Well the Stellar powder did not do anything at all. Like it, it'll keep it matte, flawless. Like I don't know anymore. I'll check in with you guys in the next little bit to see how it is later but right now I'm not really loving it. Like the initial application was great, it, look, it looked amazing, but of course now, what, maybe five hours later, it's kind of going Meh. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit just to see how it is. So what time is it right now? It's almost seven o'clock. I just got home. Traffic was 
terrible. I don't know what the heck is going on, but I had to pick up a package which you see right behind me. And yes, don't mind those pants, but yes, I, I will be doing an unboxing of that. So I had to go pick that up. I don't know what the hell is going on, but there was a police cop cruiser blocking the road, so I had to go take a detour once again. I was like, this is unbelievable. They're investigating. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just want to go home right now. I just want to be at home in my room, on my bed, just doing what I have to do. Anyways, so enough rambling. Just basically looking at my face right now. I think I got more oilier than I did in my last check-in. Um, my pores are still quite visible. Now, on the way home, I did like dab my nose a little bit to take off the excess oil because it was getting a little bit too much for me. I did not like it. Even look at myself at the viewfinder right now. Usually during at this time, I uh, would have like somewhat of a healthy glow. I look a little bit too oily. I wanted to be sure that the powder had some shimmer or if it did not have any shimmer. So I put my face directly in the sunlight and I see sparkles everywhere. So that is another no-no for me. So it actually retails for $48. So for $48, um, you get somewhat of a good amount, but you are paying for the name. And for my final thoughts, this just did not work out for me. I, I feel cakey, I feel oily, this did not control my oil whatsoever. When I first put it on, it was great. But then again, every single thing is like that when you first put it on. Obviously, throughout the day, you will see how it will perform and this not perform to my expectations for Estee Lauder. And I have a good amount of other stuff too. So this was a pass for me. This is a nay, I don't like it. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with it, but I do not like it at all. So I'm just gonna find a different powder. Um, maybe I'll try the Velvetizer. I heard good things about it. And if that is able to control my T-zone, then I will stick to that forever. I still love my Stellar uh, Cosmic Face Powder, don't get me wrong. But I wanna see if there's like anything else out there. Like I wanna try new things. Even though I don't like to stray, but I wanna try new things. I don't know, I, I can't make up my mind. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. See ya!